we talked about Jack Mack has been at such something of a, a crossroads in his career. Another player like that, Ross, um, is David Turnbull. Um, and this is a game that you'd, you'd expect a couple of, or a few of the fringe players to get a look in. Turnbull, he's been brilliant coming off the bench recently. And I just, I, I kind of feel like he's too big a talent, really, to be on the bench every week. Yeah, because you can definitely see your argument there. Um, I suppose there's not much more he can really do himself to try and force his way in. You know, we talked about Cal McVeigh earlier, we've got Rio, Ta- Rio Ta- in that midfield. Aaron Moyes could really come on to a game. He's keeping uh, Matt O'Reilly out of the team. It's a difficult, difficult midfield to get into. And David Turnbull must be thinking, well, assuming he's doing well in training to, to keep getting into squads. He's coming off the bench. He's, he's making an impact in games. He's, he's scoring goals. It might get to a point where he thinks, well, I'm, I'm doing all I can. It's not happening for me here. Maybe I need to move on. Mm-hmm. Um, the question is, where does he go? I don't think anyone else in Scotland would take him. Um, well, sorry, I, they would definitely take him. I don't think they'd be able to get him. I think no. down south is much more likely because he, he's got his Scotland Scotland career to think of as well because mm-hmm. he's uh, he's certainly a type of midfielder in Scotland. We don't have a lot of them. Um, he's different to John McGinn, for example. Different, very different kind of physical style as well. But if he's not playing for Celtic regularly, you can't really expect him to be playing for Scotland. And I think you're right. It comes to it's going to come come to a point where he's well, I'm happy being a kind of bit part player and contributing now and again to Celtic or, or Dago as well and really, really try and kick on. And then the kind of financial argument comes into it. Do Celtic want to let him go? What would they ask for? And what, what's his level going to be down south? Is it is it Premier League? It's kind of hard to say that when he's not established himself up here. Mm-hmm. Is it higher-end championship and looking to get into the Premier League through through that route? So is, um, I think he'll certainly come upon to have a decision to make. Um, it's how long he can stick it out and, and kind of be happy and try and make himself you know, somewhat Ange Ampl- Ampl- Postecoglou Ampl- can't can't ignore. He's. Uh, by the way, I should say I wasn't saying that he should play ahead of Moy, Atati, or, or McGregor, uh, Graham. But what I mean is, it's as Ross says, it's really hard to get into the midfield, and he's only twenty three. He's got a year left in his contract. I just think he might be looking elsewhere in the summer. I I think I think that would be fair for multiple reasons. Celtic for all their injury problems last year. They've been pretty healthy all season. That's been a big thing. And I think this game's so interesting for that fact that Haksibanovic, um, Bernabai, Kobayashi, Awata, there's endless players. Matt and I even, I know he's been playing probably more than the other players in the fringes uh, recently. But there's a lot of decisions to make. The Celtic, Celtic are going for the treble. Let's make, no, they go for the treble every season, but they're, they're in a final. They're, hot hot favourites in the league and they're, they're trying to get in a quarter final of the Scottish Cup so that makes sense but the opportunities for players to play is um, is a lot less like, I know in European football as well that's not there so there's like a few less games in terms of that after the after Christmas so there's some big decisions actually just in terms of minutes like um, for Saturday but you just imagine Celtic, Celtic produce a strong team against Morton like McGregor Kyogo, there'll be chances in the second half to maybe change things are going well. Turnbull would be in that mix. Um, so there's a lot of big questions, especially Turnbull. As a hard one, this is where it's quite obvious you'd go, oh, he's, he's an important player. Why would he? But his age, his profile, minutes are vital as well. And as much as he comes on, scores goals, he doesn't, he's not playing week in, week out. That's the fundamental truth. And he hasn't probably since. The injury just in the first half of last season, the second half of last season, into this, he's not been a regular starter. Now he's he can often change, tweak a game for the bench. He's long ball striking, is just elite, isn't it? That's kind of his calling card. But he's got a lot about his game as well. His set pieces can be a hit miss at times, but when he's on, he's he's very useful there as well. Tears the corners and free kicks into the box. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think right now, I think he would seem an obvious candidate if you're picking one player for that team. Maybe. I think it would again. We talked about Iran, which going with best wishes if he did go. It was Postecoglou at the AGM. He's crystal clear about players moving, moving on. That's the way it'll work. And maybe Turnbull for him going into next season as well. Celtic seem to be looking for more. So if they're already looking to strengthen the team, and David Turnbull's not getting regular minutes now, there'd be no obvious reason why he'd suddenly get more minutes next season. 